I uh, have just had a very exciting message to say that a parcel has arrived. So I'm just heading out to the letterbox. I'd run, but I have pulled a muscle <laughs> riding without stirrups yesterday. So I will not be running. I'm going to be walking down here. So I'm so excited. Okie dokie. So in this one. Oh, a lovely letter! Oh, bless. I, the lady that has done these for me, I, I'll show you what it is in a second, but the lady that has done these is so, so lovely. And this will not be the only thing I'm ordering from you. This is so exciting. Okay, so I've even got a... Uh, a tartan scrunchie which will go with what I'm about to show you let me just pop those two back in here so I don't lose them it's very important so we ordered from the lovely lovely Trudy a vest for going uh, eventing because obviously when you're eventing you need to have your number holder on and obviously at the moment I just have my normal black one so this is it. So obviously it has my name, which is always really handy because just in case I ever fall off, you know, and they don't have access to that or I'm on this side or whatever, my name is clearly visible, which is fabulous. Also helpful for the marshals. Um, so obviously the number just comes in here. This is waterproof. So we just unpop the pop, which I can't do one handed because I'm not talented enough. And then on the back is just my name again with another, another uh, holder, obviously. And clips on the side so that I can uh, attach it to myself. I'm so excited. I'm going to have to put this on. Hold on. Excuse my super fashionable jumper, by the way, because at work today. But look! Okay, I'm beyond excited. I'm going to stop now, though, because I need to go and get the ponies in for a ride. Very, very excited to ride in this. So our next competition is Wollongara, and I will be riding it in it at Wollongara. Ah! I don't think, it probably seems really silly that I'm this excited, but it's so cool and it's tartan. So it continues my tartan theme with obviously when I'm riding, I have all my tartan gear on and it just oh, ties everything in. I'm so excited. I really want to open Candace's on, but I better not. I will behave myself. baby when you went in to go get I it had part thank you and then oh. gone all the way back oh bless you <laughs> so <laughs> chief flamingo has bought me my uh whatever this is called hair scrunchie we're stopping at the bakery because we're all hungry no that's his exit three times there ma'am oh what are we all getting mum have you just have you been thinking about what you want because i've been thinking about it the last half an hour i don't even know what they do i'll show you I know, right? I really want a giant burnout. Look at them. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> you can see my PJs. What did it, Mum, Chief Flam, what did you get? I got spinach and ricotta roll and a cup of coffee. And I got jam donuts, obviously, and a steak and potato pie and an iced tea. What did you get? I got a ham cheese croissant and an OJ. 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 Why do they call it OJ, but they don't call apple juice AJ? I've been thinking know. about this for about three days and it's really stressing me out. <laughs> Sophie didn't want to be on the vlog, so she's hidden, hiding in the car, so we'll get her later. Do you reckon it's going to do the toot toot when it comes through? Don't know. I wonder if the ponies will jump if it does the toot toot. <laughs> 
Nope. Which way is it coming from? Right. Yeah. We see it, Elena. I see it. I see the light. <laughs> Summer bunnies. <laughs> I think that's probably the quickest I've ever packed for our pack before we went out, but anyway. Thank goodness you had an entourage. I did. We didn't hang to the boat. Right, Yeah, I'm just I'm just videoing you back end. Oh. This confident confident trek to the dressage ring. Sorry, Chief Flam was still talking to me about something in my dress no, test. No, it's still bitchy. <laughs> and we can't say that. This is a pony club event. Anyway, I was very happy with that dress test. Our canter was 
a bit as you saw but that's okay she's trodden a honky nut and for those who don't know what honky nuts are they bloody hurt when you roll your ankle on them yeah, so for yeah so for a horse to tread on them and roll, oh mum was gonna find one she didn't oh she's on a mission to find you a decent looking honky nut right um hey bubby so okay this yeah so this is a honky nut yeah so pretty big and they're yeah. rock hard yeah, so Winnie trod on one of those in the counter, so that's fine. We just lost marks in that box. Didn't really care. She did the rest of it really nicely. Trot work was happy, and considering we warmed up and got off the horse box and warmed up within 15 minutes and got in the arena, that's pretty good. It was an improvement on Darden up, so we're going to go give her some brekkie now because she is knackered. <laughs> Candice is here. Regan's here. Can't even see you. Look, Chief Flamingo's here. Jack, do you want to be on the on the vlog? Jackie's here! <laughs> We're walking the cross country course in my pajamas because that's how the cool kids do it. How good does it feel in a belt, everybody? I'm new to wearing belts, I like it. My $12 Kmart belt. Real? Oh, right. Are we that way? This way, this way. Oh, yeah. We're going this way. It's very confusing because we have to cross a road. Anyway, I will show you all the jumps and then we can. Um, how are you going, Chief Flam? <laughs> We missed fence 13, so we have to come through the compulsory flags and hang a righty. Um, and now that's the bit that I will forget. Is that not the bit that you will forget now? I'm down here? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right, anyway, so now this is fence number 13.
is so shaky. I can't hold it still. fun watching nothing Annie. It's literally just trees. That's not She said you could care. Self commentary, it's great. mood is mellow. No, not mellow. The mood is sour. No, that's not right either. <laughs> the mood is not great. My poor pony here nailed her entire cross country course until the idiot here rode the line wrong and she tripped and I somersaulted over her head. Brillo. Landed on my feet though, but no one got it on camera. So we were eliminated and we would have been top three. Awesome. So we live and learn, don't we? Don't we, Regan? We live and we learn. Okay. Not to ride lines horrendously where the ground is choppy. Mm. Oh yeah, that was a one It was, and I think too many people have gone around there, and I just kind of assumed I think the ground would be around there, which is what chopped it up because everyone was expecting it to be an okay corner, and it yeah. turned out it wasn't. And so I think everyone saw the same. And I think I was expecting it to be like it was when we walked it for some reason. And yet we've had 42 ponies go through that section, so I don't know why I really thought that. But. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, moral of the story, eliminated. So, we'll have to find another event to go to now, because yeah, she would have been top three. Nail our dressage, start again at a different one. <laughs>